Oh, sorry. Okie dokie. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a roleplay review. Just picking whatever you can find, okay. Well, it's interesting how many of those games that have been on AVGN and who are, that are like very known for their ass suckage. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. Where do we have it? Screenshots, no, go back. So we're up to episode 11, I think. Closed until further notice, yeah. It's actually a fairly short episode. It's a 43 minute episode. Usually my episodes are around the 50 mark, 50 minute mark, one hour mark. Rarely some episodes have been like one hour and 20 minutes. Um, those have been like the most investing episodes. As a matter of fact, the next episode, episode 12 is going to be one hour and 13 minutes, but that's just because that's probably one of the, one of the better episodes in my show. Um, some of the uh, shortest episodes, I think the shortest episode to date is episode two reunion, which is only 30 minutes. Um, what a funny coincidence, right? Right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get this set up, shall we? Uh, I should probably change the category to Daisy while we're doing it. Um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna change the title as well to Roleplay We. Just so nobody enters my stream and it's like, oh wait, this isn't Super Nintendo. <laughs> uh, they see, there we go. Okay, there we go. So now, if you guys uh, refresh your browsers, it should say roleplay review with the proper category. <clears throat> okay, so let's see if we can get this working. Is everything under control here? It should be. I'm gonna switch off the... Uh, desktop sound so you don't hear the episode on my end and oh I didn't think of that wait oh why did I not think of that I can just oh my god I've been using the media source for the media, f for the file, and then watching the file separately, but I can just maximize it on screen, and then it'll be the same thing, because I've been, oh my god, why haven't I done that before? Okay, all right, fine, fine. Let's just, let's just move on. This is a little bit embarrassing. I'm gonna, tr we're gonna try it out right now, okay? So, switching over, and I'm gonna shut off the background music for the scene. That one, there we go, that one, there we go. Okay, good. So, switching over. <clears throat> you should only be hearing my voice right now, and, oh, well then, you actually need the desktop sound activated. Okay, here we go. Blood Ties, episode 11, closed until further notice. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna pull down the volume a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Ah, another day, another question mark. For once, I woke fairly early and managed to see the sun rise over the horizon. A beautiful sight. Chicken wing, do you copy? 
I got complete silence when I tried to contact Rory, but this was nothing new. But it also tugged a little bit at me. Maybe it was time to head home. I had been on the roads for a couple of days now, and I had no idea whether or not Rory or Dex were alright, if they were back at the homestead already, or if they were still on the road somewhere. I put the thought on standby and decided to head east and see what kind of people would be at the Cougar. Duskar was also on the map. However, after yesterday's events, I wasn't too keen on trying to find the Red Militia anymore. But I would deal with these decisions when they would get too close to ignore. By the way, uh, this is another uh, advantage to actually using the, uh, the screen capture instead of using the raw media file because I can actually pause and talk to you guys. That in, in the end, that is what the commentaries are for, right? Because I couldn't do that when I was watching the file separately and then having OBS using the, the same file as a media source. I couldn't, I, there was no command to pause that. So now I'm actually, why haven't I thought of this? This is annoying, but okay, let's go. Episode 11. Closed until further notice. Yeah, I had a little trouble coming up with that title because I didn't really know what I was going to name this episode. But because we never really got into the cougar, I and also Duskar, I figured that was a good title. You know, everything was closed for me this day. <clears throat> and there's a note on the on the truck. Destruction tools, clothing, lightning, night vision goggles, or anything else. Come check out the Chipwreck Traders, located north of Sanctuary in the port. Out. Shipwrecked. Out. That's rider territory. So Sh the riders were perhaps sponsoring a little bit of trade in their domain. Interesting. I might have to drop by at some point. And then you hear gunfight. Coming. Or maybe not. Yeah, okay, we're almost up at the tavern. Let's put away the gun. Two flags. One is completely up, and the other is not. Interesting. Okay. Oh, somebody's putting away their gun. I didn't actually reflect on that when I was playing here. I did I didn't you see, I'm I'm just reading notes. He I could have been robbed right here. Like I Hello, I, 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 I realized that in retrospect. What are you up there? Hey. I'm trying to see if I can get into the tavern. I've never been here before actually. Yeah. I just checked. I don't think anyone's inside. Really? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I was calling them for so like two minutes and no one answered. All right. Okay. Hey. Hey, what's your name? Uh, my name is Robin. Robin Burley. What's your name? Robin. Oh, that's similar to my name. My name's Robbie. Robbie J. Green. Ah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, hello, Robbie. All right. So uh, you see any action? Huh? Or... Oh, any action? Um, not since yesterday. I uh. A few unspeakable things. So we're not going to talk about that. Um, yeah, notice the armbands. I took quite notice of Robbie's armband. Arbiter. And he wasn't exactly too secretive about his dubious dealings either. I began to feel slightly uncomfortable. He had met me on amicable terms. But who knew what this guy would do? Stay calm, Robin. In the end, he was here and he was talking to me. I had no choice but to see how this played out. Yeah, this was a little bit happen. exaggerated, and in, in yeah, retrospect, I could have toned it down my, a little uh, bit. My family. It was a little bit unnecessary to make it like, oh my god, you know? 
He's Man. just an arbiter. So we live down south. But the arbiters nice are to to sort of rendezvous with my brother. The arbiters are dubious, you know. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I should uh. Yeah, I should come check out uh, Old Town sometime. Pretty yeah. Nice. Sure. They always try right, that. This is probably the only place I haven't been yet. So. They always wanted us to go to Old Town. I was not this used to blatantly lie people squarely in their face, but something told me to make it sound like robbing me was a bad idea. Firstly. I hadn't been in contact with Rory for days, so the part about me waiting for him was obviously a lie, and solely to make it seem like backup was on its way. Secondly, I would most definitely not be passing by Purgatory anytime soon. This was apparently the Arbiter's M.O. Every member of that group that I'd met was very, very keen on getting visitors. And, knowing what I did about the Arbiter's self-proclaimed succession of the ways of Ghost, I definitely decided to stay away, at least for the foreseeable future. It's always nice to let other <clears throat> actions or let let them know we're growing in size and that we can outnumber yeah. them any day. <clears throat> red militia. Guess. Okay. Oh, you got beef with the Reds? Yeah, they're fucking cunts. I think everyone's got beef with them. Okay. I see smoke coming up. From, like there's a fire, but. Like, I guess you've been here before. Like here. Is this, like, the main gates? Yeah. Yeah, right here's the main gate. They, uh, usually they're open, but today and yesterday they haven't really been too active. I gotcha, okay. A lot of notes here as well. Yeah. Alright, alright. Walls may eat your stuff. One time when I came in, I was just minding my own business, telling people a story. The Reds came up and started throwing a bunch of smoke grenades in, and they looked they looked they looked like they were ready to start a gunfight until finally Sanctuary came up and saved us from them. Yeah, they seem to be almost like at odds. I was at Sanctuary yesterday, and uh, somebody took a took pot shots at us, and then I heard over Satcom that you know the mayor of Sanctuary was trying to get a sit down with the leader of the Reds. It was crazy. Huh. Yeah. Very, very strange. I mean, if you see the reds, <sighs> I wouldn't trust them. I actually dropped uh, that a little I'm bit. Uh, there, actually. I'm a little bit too reckless with dropping information. Older groups, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just told him, like, th that's vital information, actually. <laughs> They've been here for a while. Been here before. I, I was guess. new to RP, though. Yeah, I got you. Yo, Tavern, anybody here? <coughs> All right. Never mind them. <laughs> so, you ever been up to uh, Portland? I've been up there once. All right. What's the... What's the... I don't really have any reason. Okay, you know, back, you know the situation there? Um, yeah, I know, Elder. The war farmery is up there, and obviously the riding in Portland. Yeah. But uh, I think if you're lucky, you can find some nails and code locks up there. Sorry. Ah, okay. If you check the right spots. Yeah, most likely. But like. I haven't really had any luck. Right. Oh, we got two people coming up. Two people coming up. Oh, oh, contacts down the road. Well, we might as well prepare. prepare. Howdy. That sounded ominous. Hey there. Hey there, hey there, how's it? One guy with a sanctuary yeah, armband. I'm just trying to see if these guys are home. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys visiting too? Two unknowns and a sanctuary armband. Well, at least I had what could be a ranger in the mix now. This was turning out to be quite the mix of people. Yeah, there's literally no one home. Yeah, I think I think I saw some on the video or anything. But... Gip. Well, somebody got executed here. Really? Oh, that yeah, was like here. Yeah, a few hours ago. That what? was here. Yeah. Damn. God, I hope it wasn't my brother. Read yeah. That. <laughs> Shipwrecked. Yeah, I read it. I had to go there. Yeah. Okay. I I'm I haven't run to them yet, but. All right. 
Uh, where, where are we headed to? Where are y'all headed? Like, I keep mentioning my brother just so that they will understand that, oh, there's there's somebody else coming. Like, I'm not alone, you know? Just for a little bit of safety. Um, I remember I remember when I... I remember this, like, point in time. And I was, like, a little bit afraid that... Like, this was this was a fairly big mass of people here. And I'm like... Okay, I don't know their agenda. I don't know who they are. I do know that one is with the Arbiters, which is just that in itself in is a little bit uh, risky um, to hang around with the Arbiters, at least back then. Um, sanctuary armbands calmed me down a little bit, but, you know, I was like, I just wanted to make sure that people knew and understood that I had somebody coming, you know, or that we were we had arranged to meet here. I don't have any don't food know. on me again, like a, like a jerk. Well, I was gonna head to, uh, I, actually I was gonna meet up my brother here, but we have a fallback place in case we can't get in here. And that's supposed to be Duskar. So I was gonna check out Duskar. Yeah, uh, Duskar. They're nice folks. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna head that way. I'm looking to do some trading. Yeah, same here actually. <laughs> So, oh, okay, well, there uh, the, the shipwrecks are going to be busy at the moment. They're not going to be around to trade. Yeah, we've been hearing shots That's from that direction. What, what's been going on? It might just be um, zomb zombie clearing at um, Sanctuary. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, okay. Like, yeah, no. two yeah it's bro. probably just them clearing the, clearing the streets. Yeah. Notice that they run off. That's a little bit, uh, you know, shady. Like, hmm, okay. That was Robbie the Arbiter and the other guy who is Skip. By the way, Skip Tracer, which is uh, not Robbie, but the other guy, I'm going to point him out, um, is Scythe Boy. And I didn't recognize him. I, I didn't recognize his voice, but he is actually Scythe Boy from episode uh, six and seven, I think it is. Um, Scythe Boy, who, yeah, mainly Seven, Episode Seven, the guy who followed us back to Oceanville and whom we, like, proposed he should, like, be become one of Eve's followers and help her and whatnot. Yeah. But here I didn't know that. So you're with uh, Sanctuary, right? Yeah, that's right. All right, awesome. I was there yesterday. <laughs> <clears throat> I only joined yesterday. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, new to the island. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. No, that's Excuse Julia. Me. Oh, Julia? Who's got a headache? Yeah, I gotcha. Who's your, okay. who's your boy? You say it's, that's your brother? Yeah, Rory Burley. Yeah, Rory. He's supposed to meet me here, but uh, I don't know. He might have like, wandered off. Oh, is that not the guy you were with? No, 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 no. I just met him here. Oh, I see. I wonder what they're doing. Actually, uh, he's one of the Arbiters. Which one? Uh, the one I was with. Oh, so is the one I was with. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So they're obviously, they know each other. I was dumbfounded yeah. how this guy seemed to lack any sense of suspicion. Like, try to understand, the come on. are a bit strange, but uh, I don't think they're, they're that bad. I think their reputation's worse. Yeah. They've got a bad history, but... He did say that he had been... He was done robbing for today. And now they have their guns out. Yeah, they... Oh, they're not going to rob us. Are you sure? I'm 100% sure. What there's no way that uh, skip. What? There's no way skip would rob me. All right. Oh, we're on first name basis now, are we? He literally just said that he was completely new to the island. Yeah. Man, this guy's liable to get gagged and robbed several times over unless he comes around. Sanctuary sure needs to step up their basic training program. Okay, let me explain here. Um. Uh, the thing here is, uh, in an RP situation like this, when two guys, like, move off to the side, that's always, like, risky business because they need to talk about something that they don't want you to hear about. And 
more often than not, I realize that they do that because event they're planning to rob you or like, you know, init- like maybe get back up or something and, you know, just, uh, yeah. So here, right here, um, I was... This was the first time I met Dobby. This is Dobby, by the way, and I will meet him again, like, in in future episodes. Uh, right here, though, this is the first time I met him. And Dobby is a great guy, let me tell you. He's he's a wonderful person, and he he's, like, a, a great role player. And uh, uh, he was really nice, and he it was nice to role play with him. But the first time I met him, which is here, I had to sort of, like, call him out on it a little bit in the monologue, you know, like, because it felt like he was really being naive, at least, like, you know, his character. He was, like, really, like, oh, no, 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 Skip won't rob me. And I'm, like, wait, but you said this is, like, your first island, first day on the island, like, how do you know this, you know, like, you don't know Skip, you don't know if he's not gonna rob you or not, so it felt a little bit, I had to call him out on it, and, like, pointed out in the episode that yeah sanctuary needs to step up their basic training program just like that but no no offense to dobby like it was probably like he didn't he he probably didn't even see it that way maybe he knew skip from like maybe it was meta you know he knew skip from like maybe offline or something i don't know so he was like yo skip won't rob me because we know each other already you know but I don't know. I I have no idea of knowing that, but uh, I had to like point it out a little bit. How did you figure what out? Anyway, uh, it gets better. Here's Skip. Sorry, that took me. By the way, this is Scythe Boy, the guy that had that scythe when we were running with that that mass of people with uh, uh, Eli Carter and Eve and all that. <clears throat> How did you figure out the other fella Skip was from episode 6? Well, actually 7, but he might have glimpsed past in episode 6, that's true. But yeah, I know what you mean. Um, I figured it out only, like, later. Because I heard uh, him being called Skip here. Uh, I think he even introduces himself as Skip here. Now, at the time, here, I didn't remember that Scythe Boy had, had also actually told us that his name was Skip. It wasn't until I made the connection that his, his full name is actually Skip Tracer. Those two names together triggered my memory. Like, oh yeah, that's the guy that we had with us, you know? Um, and I didn't hear that until... I don't know, or maybe I heard it here. I don't know. We'll we'll just keep uh, we'll watch and see. But uh, I think he only introduces himself as Skip. Um, but yeah, so so uh, we'll see. Right here, apparently he's he's new to the Arbiters, so he has actually joined the Arbiters, but he doesn't have an armband yet. Um, Skip would go on. Spoiler a little bit. But Skip would go on to actually end up in trouble with the Arbiters. But, yeah, that won't be seen until episode 16, I think. Yeah, okay, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Is that your yeah, friend? Yeah, that's my friend. Yeah, he's a little, uh, he likes to keep to the shadows, so. <clears throat> Fair enough. Oh, you're the guy without the... Yeah, let's head to... You don't have the uh, net on you now, right? Yeah, that's the same. I took, yeah. I took it off. I took it off. It's kind of my comfort blanket, you know what I mean? Okay. I got you. He's got me to hug him now. <laughs> Obvious cud- yeah. cuddle buddy. <laughs> okay. That might answer a few things. I don't know if any of the dust are important. I had to do that. I had to do that. That was like I I thought it would be get muted because I used that music, but it I, it was so tempting. I had to do that. Like listen to this again. Listen to what Dobby says. Yeah. All right. Fair oh, you're the guy without the, Yeah, let's head to the guy. You don't have the uh, net on you now, right? Just, 
Yeah, that's the same. I took, yeah. I took it off. I took it off. I, it's kind of my comfort blanket, you know what I mean? Oh, okay. I got gotcha. you. He's got me to hug him now. <laughs> Obvious cud yeah. cuddle buddy. <laughs> okay, that might answer a few things. Now, what it might answer, what, what, what I was referring to was simply the fact that he was so sure that Skip wouldn't rob him. Now, if we played with it a little bit, if I'm making a joke here, it's of course because they were lovers, you know? I had to do that as well. It, I remember, actually, people thought it was really funny. Uh, and that's why I did it, you know? Um, but yeah. Yeah, sorry, Elder, about the spoiler. Uh, I'll try to keep it, like, limited. I don't know if any of the Dusk Guard boys are uh, awake right now, but might as well, right? Yeah, I mean, there's nobody here, I so... <clears throat> I can hit him up on the radio. Yeah, sure. What did you want to do here? Who, me? Well, both of you. Well, I wanted to check out the tavern, first of all, because I've never been here. And then I was sort of going to rendezvous with my brother as well. Do you think he's probably moved on to Duska? It's possible. I, I'm not sure. Uh, we actually split up a fair amount of time ago. And we've been expl Oh, okay. She got abducted by aliens. Um, Whenever you see that little stamp, that red stamp that says OOC, it's out of character. So it's like... Either I talk about something like, you know, breaking the fourth wall, talking to you guys, or like talking about some glitch in the game or something like that. It's just like not part of the story, pretty much. So we have, we're, we've been keeping in regular contact, but I haven't heard anything from him in a little while, so. I don't know. He might be close, he might mm -hmm. not be, so. Okay. Death car is not far, thankfully. Yeah. I mean, it's not as far as as uh, a lot of places. And that's no, it's actually really close. <laughs> right. No time. So, yeah, what, what was your name, her... Sanctuary Boy? Oh, I'm a Dobby. Dobby. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah. The name is Richard Dobbin, but since I was a kid, everyone's called me Dobby. Okay. Even my mum did. I gotcha. That's a great nickname. I hate it. <laughs> it. It just stuck. Sometimes things just stick like that. that. Oh, um. sh hmm. You guys uh, run on ahead. So what? I know okay. the way. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to wait for Julie to wake up. Sure. No problem. I was a little bit concerned here. Right here, I'm like, wait, what's going on? Because I was thinking like, okay, Robbie headed off and Skip said that, oh, he's going to follow us, but he's going to be in the shadows. And then he comes up and we move, start moving off. And then Dobby backtracks with the excuse of waiting for Julia. Now, of course, that is a valid excuse, but it's like, to me, it felt like we were, they were separating me, you know? They were making it so that I was following along with Skip, and we were now on our own. And if and since Skip is part of the Arbiters, that made me nervous because Skip and Robbie, we'd seen them like down the road talking, and like it looked like they were looking at us, you know. So I was really nervous here. I mean, it's not going to show in my voice or anything, but I remember I was actually like, "Damn, I got to get out of this." It wasn't inherently a hostile situation, but I was, I felt a little bit uncomfortable. So I was actually looking for a chance to sort of split off from this group, even though it was an interesting group of people, I was still not really comfortable. It felt, I was a little bit uneasy. Sure. You ready? What's the name of your family, but? Uh, we're the Burleys. We're trying to oh, establish some connections here in the north. We we oh, live yeah. down south, basically. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's a long trek up north. I know. I know the pain. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Got to be got to be careful, you know. Yeah. 
Right, yeah. I mean, yeah, travel up north is not only is it a long way, but it is dangerous. Mm hmm. Definitely. You know, you don't really know who to trust. The first guys we. I was, I was kind of like saying that to him just to like subtly point out that you know buddy i don't really trust you either and you have to keep in mind i don't i didn't remember him as scythe boy here i thought this was like a new guy that i hadn't met before he ran into were the pathfinders kind of says it all oh uh oh uh oh uh oh, 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 oh. yeah that's tough that is tough well, well I mean, honestly, the Pathfinders hadn't really done anything to us. They, we were among the lucky ones who weren't actually robbed by the Pathfinders. But you know why? I think it was because we came up uh, on their compound. We approached their compound on their home turf in, uh, in Cushville. So they were a little bit surprised that we came up to the gate they were like, oh shit, there's somebody approaching, you know, like, and they were the first group that we'd met uh, on this RP server. So I think they had no choice but to show show off sort of a good uh, face to us, you know, like, oh shit, okay, and now they know where we live and all, and all that, you know, like just, okay, fine, we don't have to rob them now or anything like that. Um, we kind of understand that... There is a problem brewing in the south. Yeah. Right, so oh, I remember that. I was so into this whole going into this, like, storyline with me making Robin, like, very adamant that we need to get the Southlands to rise up against the Pathfinders. I was really... I was really hooked on that storyline. I wanted to make something out of it, you know, like rise, lead a rebellion or something um, because of what we discovered in episode, I want to say eight, the lonely road. Uh, yeah, because nine is sanctuary. Um, when we find the, the, pa the notes and I overhear them over the, their frequency, it just like, it was like story bits of plots were just dropping into my lap and it was like as if the story was writing itself i really i really that was so fun so i i was living down south um and i just moved pretty far north uh because of that i was getting a little nervous down there personally yeah wow see that's the thing about coming up north. <clears throat> it's like you'll find so much stuff so I've been running into these crazy secret places. Yeah. Yeah, like different sorts of caves, mines, bunkers, stuff that's not even marked. Still to this day, I just want to say I haven't. I still to this day haven't really uh, ran and in, ran into those secret places that he's mentioning. But then again, I haven't really been exploring that much either on Deer Isle. I've been mostly trying to keep to the story and all that. Yeah. <laughs> We got people coming up the road, by the way. There we go. <coughs> welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Hey. <laughs> Was it nice up in the yeah, alien man. spaceship? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let me go. How you I had some massage cream, but I gave it to the doctor. Yeah, we can, we can sprint. Everyone up, everyone up for sprint. That was a little bit risky of me. I, I know I wanted to make that joke because it feels like whenever, you know, whenever you see a character despawn, I always, it, it feels to me like they're being beamed up to an alien mothership, you know? So instead of saying that, like it's it's usual common practice to say that people have a head headache on RP servers and if they disappear, they're experiencing headaches or they went to sleep or something like that. I want to say they've been beamed up to the mothership, but if I do that on an RP server, it's like, it's tempting fate a little bit. I, you don't know if you're going to run into an admin who's like, okay, you know what, buddy? 
you kind of broke the fall like you're you're meta now or not meta but like you're you're just being ridiculous now you know so as much as i want to i don't think i'm going to be saying that anymore yeah sure even though i got a lot of shit on me Ugh, i'm fat as well <clears throat> oh brother Brother, you're not as bad as you think, brother. You're a my, okay. my bag is like totally empty. I could carry some shit for you if you want. Oh, oh really? Right. Really? I plan to offload it at dusk car anyway. And then like conveniently forget that, oh yeah, you had these things too. You know, like... Just a bunch of vendor trash, I mean, basically. if he runs away with it, we'll like him. Don't worry. W wait. Did she say? I have never heard. I've never really actually reflected on what she said. But at dust car anyway. Just a bunch of vendor trash. I mean, basically. if he runs away with it, we'll like him. Don't worry. Interesting. I've never actually thought. I've never reflected on what she says there. If he runs away, we'll leg him. Don't worry. Meaning they'll sh shoot him in the leg. Yeah. Okay. Good joke. Now it made sense. I'm hoping the. I'm hoping the Duskar boys see my, uh, see my French shirt and <clears throat> take pity on me. <laughs> I would, I would, let's say, let's holster our weapons. Sure. There's a base just to our right here. We're, we're close. Um, we're close. We gotta cross the river. Be... Hello? Hello? Oh. Hello? Hello? Knock, knock, How's he's things? there. Things are going alright. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Yeah. Hello there. Hi. What's your name? Yeah, I just heard voices and I... Oh, I'm Leo. Hey there. Hey, Leo. I'm hey, a trader. I'm Dobby. Alright. Hey. You're a I trader. Apologize. I didn't mean to pull that out. Pull that out. Leo, hey, this nice is a really, nice, really nice place you got here, man. Interesting. Yeah, it actually yeah. is. Very, very nicely done. It's not done yet, as you can see by the incomplete tower. Yeah. It's a nice location. Yeah, it is, definitely. It's just that I get a lot of, I have to, it's the neighbors that are kind of a little issue. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, the neighbors up here are tough. Any neighbors in particular? Who's your neighbors? Uh, the neighbors in Mountainville, they're a little bit, something else. Okay. Did they give you your name? They're their name? Oh, they're the the Forlorn family lives over there. Oh, yep. Stay away from it's that. The ma it's the they're the mafia. They're the mafia. Where do they the live? The mafia. The wannabe mafia. Um, they just live in the warehouse. The Forlorn there. families. That's why. Yeah, I've, I've walked past there. It's all blacked off. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah but I mean, they've they haven't came over here to cause any trouble yet. So. Okay. Uh, quick note here about the Forlorn families. Um, since this series is never going to mention them again. Well, I I think I mentioned them once or twice again. But the thing is, we never encounter them. I think they disappeared fairly quickly after this period. But the Forlorn families apparently were like, they were sort of trying to be the mafia. And they had this reputation of executing uh, their rivals in the street not just shooting them down like gunning them down but like making a public spectacle of it like you know like holding a gun to a to the head of a guy who's kneeling and then people are they're like talking to to the people that live nearby they they've like made them gather around for an event and then they execute them and make a big big show out of it i wish i've actually been there to see that happen um they sounded like they they were among the um uh, stuff happened with that faction at least yet yeah yeah <laughs> um do you guys want to come inside i have food and, i'm gonna um, go, I'm, I don't... I'm gonna go <clears throat> yeah i'm gonna go on my head a minute so i'm just gonna sit down out here but all right do here. that um, do you guys want anything oh uh oh food i could always take food huh? Uh, all right, um, all right, just stay out here. Hungry. Um, you can play chess. I don't really have. I I just ran out of wood for the fire. Oh. I apologize. Ah, oh, no worries, no worries. No, Leo seemed like a stand-up guy. 
Of course, you shouldn't really enter into an unknown enclosure when someone asks you if you want to come inside. But we were four people, and it didn't look like he would hide an army inside to ambush us. Besides, I wanted to see if I could trade some stuff. Yeah, I gotta go hunting a little bit later. Normally, I store food in this locker from hunts. There's food in here now if you need it. Did you say that you're a trader? Yeah. Um, I don't suppose you've got a ghillie suit. Um, <laughs> does it matter what kind of ghillie suit? <laughs> Why? Is it, well, what kind? What? What? What have you got an offer? <laughs> I just made one too. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. so, um, you said you needed something. Yeah, actually, two things. Uh, first of all, do you have a pair of binoculars? Military or non-military? It, to me, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just, you know, I need a set so that I don't like have to aim I'm... towards people every time I want to, you know, view them. That uh, yeah, yeah. That, that is really annoying. If you don't have like a pair of binoculars, but if you have a scope on your weapon, the only way you can like scope out a couple of people down the road you actually have to aim at them and uh, that's a really annoying so a pair of binoculars is actually good for genuine role-playing purposes just to be non-threatening wh uh, while viewing people from a distance I, I, that's happened to me a lot of times and it's like oh sorry i don't mean to aim at you you know <laughs> again just give me a couple seconds and i'll find it yeah sure no worries do you have a military pair as well yes i do I need a military pair. Oh, and if you have an AK mag, that would be sweet. Um, with, oh, from you a, got an AK. AK? Well, it's the crappy AK, hey, but the, uh, still. Who the hell are these pair of binoculars? I'm on the radio right now, just so y'all know, so, uh... Yeah, no worries. I'll be a minute, I'm just trying to... Right here, I'm still, like, cautious with Skip. And I was actually feeling a little bit threatened. Because I'm, I, I keep thinking that he's on the radio trying to coordinate with his Arbiter buddies about how to best ar rob us. That was, that, was, that was what was going through my head at this time concerning Skip. So I was trying to get away from Skip or like sort of lose him. Um, and I think I managed to do that while he half he while well, he had to like log off or something i don't know <clears throat> um you want to disarm binoculars go ahead i don't need them oh thank you very much and what do you want for the what are you looking for for the um military binoculars um i really don't know i've not been on the island for a long time what are they worth to you this might sound weird but i'll take your two smoke grenades I can do that. Alright. I'm gonna leave the ghillie suit because I want the ones that I can still have a backpack with. You know what? Let me just say this. This is the advantage of doing away with NPC traders. A lot of servers make use of the trader uh, mod where you have NPCs where you can just go up and, you know, sell stuff and get currency for it. But for on an rp server that would just like completely undermine the whole uh role-playing interaction so because survivalists di didn't have like any npc traders it like encouraged other players to take on the roles of traders and right here we're like we're legit doing business with leo day so we can like you know tell people that, oh yeah, he's a good trader. He he had this and that and, and all that. So that is what I really enjoy about uh, um, giving the role of trader to like actual players uh, on the, on the uh, role-playing servers. I'll look out for him. Oh, that'd be great. I've got a, um... do, do you know the shipwrecks? Um, yeah, I do. Yeah, they said they may take me up there or trade me 
uh, Achilles suit was just <clears throat> I don't know how much they're gonna they're gonna charge for it. We'll see. They try they try to rip me off, so I don't really shop with them anymore. Okay. They tried ah, selling yeah. me an AK with a mag for about three stacks of nails. What the? Fuck? They charged Could... two to three nails a bullet. Yeah, the shipwrecked would turn out to be a fairly shady faction. They were charging one nail a bullet now. Oh, so they said to go down one. Yeah, they realized that no one buys their shit because of that. Like, god damn. Well, it's also because about I'm with Sanctuary. The... Talking about the, the yep. shipwrecked? Yeah. Great guy, my man. As I was browsing and inspecting a cooking pot, which I believe would make me somewhat less visible from afar compared to the Dutch oven, I was made privy to an interesting conversation which told me a little bit about what could happen to me if I actually went to the Arbiter's Domain. Um, do you know a man named Gary? Some, uh... Actually, wait, no. did you go over by um, Old Town a couple days ago? Yeah, yeah, we did. Well, yeah. Yeah, a couple days Gary. ago. Last, Gary! Last Gary, night. Gary, Gary! I know Gary! Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the pet that got fucking re released. I'm... Gary! My real name's Leo. My real name's Leo. Le he had been caught by the Arbiters, and they had sort of had him as a pet. Leo. Fucking Gary. Leo. I'm and they sorry, called him man. Gary. I'm, out of there, my man. I'm, I'm happy you got out of there. I mean, not sorry. I'm happy you got out of there. I'm, I witnessed that. Yeah. That was a boy. boy yeah, oh boy. I, I was a guy who was a fucking pet with the cat he was on. Oh, brother. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit wild up there for sure, but um, <laughs> hopefully it was yeah. a good time at the very least. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, was, uh, I was robbed um, and uh, kind of dare to go back up there to get my my stuff and you know what i took the dare oh oh i that's another thing i didn't reflect on i that's i did wonder about how skip tracer became an arbiter but now i actually heard that he was robbed and dared to uh get his stuff back at old town or purgatory as they renamed it and he did and he i think right about here he was still a prospect. He was still like um, a, an arbiter on probation. Like he was being tested. Um, that's why he didn't have any armbands yet. You got a better shirt, maybe? The shirt's soaking wet. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just dry it? It's good, <laughs> but I hate this shirt. Oh, fair enough. I could though, you're right, you're very right. This... Okay, so I need to run back to Sanctuary and come back again. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'm, be here. I'm not going anywhere, so yeah, take your time. Well, I didn't actually need to go to Discard for anything. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, if he, neither do I, um, uh, since he's got stuff. Like, uh, what was your name again? I'm so sorry. It's Leo. Not Gary. Leo, that's right. Not fucking Gary. Right. Not Gary. <laughs> yeah, that was an intense night. That's got to be pr pretty tough for uh, Skip as well to be held responsible. Like, let's say you're part of a gang and you have this this unwitting victim that you're like hazing. You're stripping him naked. You're treating him as a pet. You know all that, and then he he gets released. And then you you get separated from your group. A couple of days later, you're on your own, and you encounter the same guy. And you actually ha now you're gonna have to like be the one who's got got to answer for that. I mean, Leo turned out to be pretty swell. He was like, you know, he didn't hold a grudge, but but still, like, it's got to be a little bit nerve wracking for Skip as well. I gotta think. And that that was the night to remember or oh, forget. Um... Okay, right. do, you, do you want to wait here, or do you want to come with me? But I'm going to run back. <laughs> I don't know. Um, does it matter what shirt? What? 
Um, it's up to you. Uh, anything that hey, no. matches my. Yeah, I'm gonna put my. Hey! Oh, what the f oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Bam! <laughs> my gilly. Anything that blends in with this gilly that I got. I on so right. deserve that. <laughs> It's a, the gilly I is totally a I mean, you deserve more than that. <laughs> you know what? I, 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 can get, I can get you this. It's a 42 slot field jack. Are you a couple or something? That's perfect. That's perfect. Nah, she's kind of like yeah. a little sister. We oh, live okay. together, though. Okay. We've been together since the, uh, uh, the outbreak. Alright. Oh, I should have asked Dobby down the line what happened to Julia. Because I never saw Julia after this episode again. Well, ah, it's easy to remember, like, in retrospect, when you, like, rewatch these episodes. But once you're playing, like, there's a lot of things that you tend to forget. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But I know for a fact that I've, like, completely forgotten to mention stuff that I really should have talked about. And then remembered it, like, once I was on offline. Like, oh, I should have told him about that. And, you know, like that. Yeah, I need, I need to increase argument. my wood pile so I can get a fire I going. Pistol with the though. And, uh, Shit. and then I guess really any. You gotta lay off uh, that domestic violence, man. If, if you got by yeah. nine by nineteen, um, I'm still like kind of like horrible like, 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 <laughs> Yeah, dude, I switched out your um, your cooking pot for my Dutch oven, if that's okay. <clears throat> that's I'm gonna go and pick up my saw and my nails, and then we'll what do some food, and I'm back. Did you take off your diaper? Hey. I'll give you the jacket, the bag, and the diaper. Her mic is on. Party? Oh, perfect. Thanks. Thank Party. you. That's Who awesome. Who are you talking to? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Is my mic still on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit, it is. How do I turn it off? I oh, thought gosh. you were talking to Dobby. <laughs> 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 Come here, come here. It's stuck on, how do I fuck? Come here. Now I'm gonna whisper. It also comes with a USB patch, I hope you're okay with that. After Dobby had changed his diaper, seeing as how none of the others were keen on continuing to Duskar anymore, I told them that I would be leaving. The cougar had been a bust, but I was still curious to see if anyone would be awake at Duskar. If for nothing else, I would go there to scope out the place in general, just to get a feel for the settlement. It's all right, dude. Take your time, man. I'm good. I'm good. Dude, before I leave, what was your name again? My name Leo. is Robin. Robin Leo. Burley. I remember Leo. I will always remember Robin, that. Leo Robin Burley. Because of that evening. Robin Burley. Okie dokie. Well, if you find nice meeting you, if I don't see you again, dude. Yeah, this is the same what to you. Fuck? If you find my brother Rory or my cousin Dex, tell him I'm I'm there you go. I got the most likely out. gonna be heading Thanks. home soon. You're heading home. Okie dokie. Yeah. If I don't find them at Duskar, that is. Okay, well if I catch anyone on the road, I'll see them. I'll let them know. All right. Thanks, man. Bye. All right. Mind your nappies. That's stuff. Yeah. It's been really a pleasure meeting you. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. All right. If you ever need business, um, yeah, just come down here. Absolutely, absolutely. I will. I will do. All right. Take care. Alright. Yeah, bye. Bye. Woo! I was on my own again. Usually a precarious situation, and doubly so now, considering the fact that I had run into two Arbiters, whom, even though they had played nice with me, you could never really be sure with them. Some of these factions were established one way or the other. For instance, most would agree that groups like the Pathfinders or the old Ghost Crew were bad guys. Bandits, extortionists, tomato, tomato. Sanctuary and Duskar were peaceful settlements, who helped you out altruistically. Good guys. Then you had all the groups in between. The Red Militia, for instance, appeared to be the one group that most people had a hard time to place as good or bad. They seemed to always end up as neutral, with half of the population liking them and the other half hating their guts. Then you had groups like the Riders, who I'd heard some bad about but mostly good. And then the Arbiters, who were the flip side of that particular coin, meaning I'd heard some good about them, but mostly bad. To be blunt, it was a very enigmatic alignment scale, because most of the things that affected it were rumors. So far, I'd only run into Arbiters who seemed like decent people. 
but rumors told me to really watch my back. Sometimes it was really hard to know which way to look. Oh well, time to see if any citizens of Duskar were up and about. Yeah, this is the first time I'm at Duskar as well. Right, the plan is... Or go to Duskar. Head up to Duskar there and see if anybody's home. Um, if nobody's home, then I'm gonna actually swim straight across the the bay and see if I can like get to. Camp oh yeah, camp bear. I hadn't actually done that th Cross before the here before this. It's gonna be a long swim, but you know. Go. <clears throat> swimming across like massive stretches of water on Deer Isle or uh, Chernaris in general is possible. Like even if the stamina is, uh, if the stamina goes down, I don't remember, but at least here on Deer Isle they have like infinite stamina. That's partly because there are no vehicles on this server <clears throat> for various reasons. Now, uh. You don't die if you run out of stamina in the um, um, in the middle of the uh, um, or not run out of stamina. You don't die. What was it? I was I was gonna say something now that I oh. want a vehicle. Use your legs. Yes, that's also something. Be, uh, that's also why they had to include a mod that literally made it so that shoes did not degrade. Which I was a little bit against, because that goes against realism. Um, and also, there was no... There, there was another... There was another mod they included that, because... Um, what was it? Oh yeah, they had a mod that made it so that while you were barefoot, you didn't take any damage to your feet. And van in vanilla... If you go barefoot, you your feet are gonna start bleeding. Like you need shoes, but they had a mod that just did away with uh, feet injuries, which was so annoying to me. Like the most unrealistic thing imaginable. Because you know what that resulted in? It resulted in every like hardcore player standing around talking by the campfire, and everybody was barefoot. Why? Because when you go around barefoot in day Z, you make little to no sound. Like if you have a shoe, if you have shoes on, your your feet like you, if you're on gravel or whatever. Like it doesn't matter what uh, what type of uh, uh, soil you're on, you make sound a lot of it. But if you have if you walk barefoot, you make almost no sound whatsoever. <clears throat> yes, exactly. They should just run barefooted. That is exactly what they did, because they had included this mod, and it annoyed me so much. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. All right, let's keep going. Oh, yeah, uh, I was going to say about the swimming in water. S swimming for a long stretch of water might seem daunting, but you don't die like if you if you uh there's no risk of dying like you will eventually reach the other side the only the annoying thing is that it takes a long time to swim and because of that you might actually die not from running out of stamina but from becoming hungry it takes such a long time to swim it goes so slowly that your your hunger is liable to turn red and eventually you'll die from starvation or even thirst. So you always need to drink and eat before you go swimming, which is very contradicting to the classic advice that you should never swim after eating or drinking. There we go. Now you will hear me uh, talk a little bit to myself uh, and here you'll hear the reason for why I didn't recognize Skip. Because I didn't remember his name. If I had remembered that he was called Skip, 
I think I would have made the connection. That was the reason. I remember it now. Uh, that, uh, but I, I remember. I only remember that his name was short, like Skip. Uh, but I didn't re like really remember what the name was. Yeah, since I saw. Um, what was his name? Robbie and Stitch. What's his name? Stitch? That guy with the netting? Stitch. I called him Stitch. Stitch or was it... Some, it was a short name. Those two. I think Dobby said that Stitch or whatever his name was. Was also in... Um... Uh, I feel like such the a jackass, artists. you know. Like I feel, I feel so such. I feel like such a fool, you so, know. Um, it's not easy remembering everyone that. you come across. So there's Duskar. There's the settlement of Duskar. They've really, like that's a that's a fairly huge settlement. Like with, it's uh boarded off and everything they Duskar was always like a really cool um walled sett settlement well there's one there yeah there's a Duskar Duskar person there good Duskarite uh just a footnote uh the way Duskar looks here right now is nothing uh compared to what Duskar actually looks today this area with the houses and everything, this has been redesigned by the creator of this server, John McLean, um, or uh, Benny, as his real name is. Um, he has uh, desi redesigned this area. There's still like a lot of houses here. It's still Duskar, but it's been a little bit, it has more like uh, foliage, like a lot of more trees, and it looks a little bit more... Uh, um, uh, like the the woods are growing a little bit more around this place, <clears throat> and there's a big warehouse there that's not there now, but here, like you can see it over here, like over there is a warehouse. Okay, my my this image is actually, but there's like a warehouse there that's not there anymore today. All right. Here we are, Duskar. Hello? Uh, can I open? Going off to eat, kind of hungry. Okay, you sure you don't want to uh, stay just to watch, watch me swim? It's just a couple of minutes. But if you have to go, uh, it's okay. Thank you for dropping by, Elder. Always a pleasure, man. Oh, okay. Those gates were unlocked. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? Now, re remember, we did see somebody in here, but nobody's answering. Hello? Anybody home? These doors, too, same as the cougars, were locked. Well, at least here I got into some kind of an antechamber of what seemed to be a tightly fenced-off settlement. The guy I had seen at a distance was not answering my shouts, and I had to wonder if there had been any truths to what Jack said about Duskar. For a settlement, they're, they, every door is locked, the entire place is walled off, and you won't get a peek out of someone unless you talk to them over radio. And even then, if you walk around the town with an unart and you don't have an escort, they'll shoot you. They're really hostile at the moment. They turn, they've gone full like military. Nice place. As I stared at the blocky buildings lining the inner wall of the antechamber, I suddenly felt like I didn't want to remain here in case the Duskarites proved to be as trigger-happy with unannounced strangers as had been suggested. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just head home. My body's like, uh, you go eat now, and I'm like, what? No, okay. Alright, if you're going off to eat, uh, take care, man. Always a pleasure. Mama Goose to Chicken Wing. Come in, Chicken Wing. Trying to reach my brother Rory. As always. No reply. As always.
Mama goose to chicken wing. Come in, chicken wing. I figured I would announce my homecoming if Rory or Dex were back at the homestead. We'll see, man. Since I was actually pretty Take close care. to home now. There was only one thing in the way. That. It would be a long swim, and I wasn't exactly wearing speedos and nothing else. The weight of my hunting gear would weigh me down, and I was at risk of being pulled under. Not to mention the fact that the sun was going down, effectively lowering the temperature significantly. Still, I had swum ashore as I first arrived back on the island. If I had done it once, I could do it again. And we are now attempting to breach the gap. We're making a dash, We're making a beeline for Camp Bear, straight across the sound. Okay, since this is an RP server, who am I talking to here? Like, I know, I should have probably put, like, OOC, you know, the uh, red OOC stamp here, but I, every time I see this, I'm like, why am I talking like this? I Granted, sometimes I actually do talk to myself, you know, like, just... It's just like a force of habit sometimes, just to like work things out for your own. But here, it's like, oh, come on. I really didn't have to s say anything here. It was hard. So hard. The blurry ground beneath me soon gave way to darkness, and I felt every cubic inch of water saturating my clothes. I was constantly <clears throat> afraid that the sun would go down on me and leave me hanging in the middle of nowhere. Also... My stomach was growling. Not a good situation when going for a massive swim. Talking to yourself as a streamer, how about if you don't, I'll let's not. Exactly. By the way, that rifle on my backpack, um, that was a modded AK variant. And everybody I met told me that it was, like, completely crappy. Like, the recoil would send you flying and aiming everywhere. So, I actually never got a mag for that one. I think it's going to disappear uh, as soon as next episode or something like that. But, yeah. I never got to try it out. Eventually. Probably a good My thing. My muscles ached so much that I was genuinely thinking I was going to sink and drown. <clears throat> I kept thinking about Rory, about Dex. But then, finally, I looked down and saw the hint of ground coming up for me. A welcome sight if ever there was one. Yes. Touchdown. Oh, I had made it. I was back home on Starter Island. There's actually only five minutes left of this. Wow. If only Uncle Jimmy Jack could see me now. Yes. But before I could set eyes upon the homestead again, I had to traverse Camp Bear with all its undead military freaks running around. As the sun disappeared completely while I was in the last barracks and coming up empty-handed, I decided to try out the night vision goggles that I got from Winter in New Haven. They'd been with me all this time. I just never thought to use them. Hello? That's a little bit different. Good night for sneaking. 
I had excellent vision with these. And it was actually a perfect night for sneaking. However, my stomach violently disagreed with me and insisted that I leg it for home. Alright, we have to get out of here. We have to get home. Home sweet home. See if the guys are home. Nothing. No one was home. I knew this had been a possibility that none of them were here when I got home. And it didn't really mean anything. They were most likely still out traveling. Even so, that too familiar feeling of not knowing, ironically enough, began to make itself known to me again. Nice wordplay there. That too familiar feeling of not knowing was beginning to make itself known to me again. Honestly, that deserves an applause. I mean, seriously. <laughs> Jesus. All right. I like alliterations. Is that what you call it? As morning came, I decided to inspect two of the closest residences. The family had discussed spreading out and claiming individual houses for personal use, and these buildings had been selected as suitable. All right, take care, Elder. Have a good one. Um, yeah, this is pretty much done now. Now that well. I found a code lock, I figured I could begin setting one of the places up while waiting for the guys to return home. I mean, what the hell else was I supposed to do? Yeah, the the house that we were using as our initial base, uh, the house that we like made it, made it, we made our story around the house that that was our homestead, um, that was where we grew up, but that wasn't gonna be enough for three players or three characters, so eventually we discussed about it and we actually uh, made us made a decision that. Rory and Dex were both going to move out of the house and uh, take up residence in these uh, two-story buildings that are by the road. This one is was going to be Rory's, um, this red one. And I had to make it uh, make it into uh, uh, make it into the story, or like I had to have it on camera, uh, recorded that you know so that we know that they actually uh, made that decision to move out. Otherwise, we'd start the next episode and it'd be like, so yeah, Rory and Dex lives here now. It's like, uh, when did this happen? So this is pretty much just me looking yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. Like for the, for the story's sake, just, yeah, this is going to be a good place, you know. Wait, what did I say? I was finally Oh yeah yeah yeah. I was I was saying that he was going to get the better end of the deal. Seeing as how I was going to stay at the homestead, but I wasn't really sure. I mean, I had I I still had more rooms. But I was go eventually going to encounter a lot of problems with people breaking into the to that house that I lived in. But that was um not really their fault as I would discover. Uh, that doesn't have any, like, it doesn't show up in this, in the series or anything. So I could just touch on it briefly here. Um, I had actually, I'd put down two doors 
<clears throat> or actually three doors, but I think only two of them had uh, hinges and code locks uh, in the uh, third, no, second episode. And at one point, that was like a month after, like a, a month uh, since we did that. And after a month, Survivalist had it set to uh, that if uh, a month goes by and you don't have a flagpole up, with a raised flag, uh, you're building, uh, like, your your fences and all that, doors and whatnot, they're going to despawn. You need to have a flagpole set up to, to always, like, you know, keep the timers fresh. That is what happened to the back door to my house, I think. And I did not notice that because I never used that door. So that pretty much, and, and I was so like, I was so confounded. I was like, how are they getting in here? I remember I was like, Rory and me both, we were, we were at my house and we were looking around and like, what is going on? How can they, have they managed to get inside here? Like we were talking about, how, have they like glitched in with the step ladders? Have they, you know, like all of that, um, and if they manage to get in, is, does this mean that they are now, like, basically inside whenever they l log on to the server, but they can't go out because, like, they're trapped inside because they don't have the code for my doors? And then it took a while before I actually noticed that, okay, the back door is completely missing. How the hell did this happen? And then I understood, like, oh, shit. Of course, it despawned. Then everything, like, I understood it. And I was like, oh. Home after a long journey and decided to put in some work on the home front over the next couple of days. It would pass the time and allow me to keep occupied while waiting for the boys <laughs> to get back home. This would work nicely because I was also making plans about a passive information campaign regarding the times of the Southlands and I needed time to prepare. Yes, these were going to be interesting times indeed. Indeed. <clears throat> Did OKG okay, 20, 2021. This was recorded a year ago. Basically, when I did Blood Ties, uh, we can move it over. There we go. Oh, sorry. Hang on. Um, when I recorded Blood Ties, it was uh, pretty much most of last summer because I could do that because my my uh, uh, patio was being demolished and all that. It was taken over by like a construction crew because they were working on the balconies and everything. So they had like this huge like scaffoldings and everything just standing on my patio so I couldn't use it. So I was basically stuck inside the entire summer i think i got like two weeks at the end of summer before before uh, autumn it was horrible uh but anyway yeah so so uh, that was recorded a year ago uh not exactly a year ago i don't know actually actually which month or anything like that but basically summer uh and september 2021 um but yeah anyway that was uh uh, that was, uh, uh, episode 11. <clears throat> um, closed until further notice. Not much happens in that episode. However, however, the next episode, episode 12, the Westbrook incident, is probably the most interesting and suspenseful episode that I have done to this day, and right now, I'm in the works of editing episode 31, so, you know, it's, yeah, I'm still editing these episodes, but to be fair, I think it's only like three episodes remaining or something like that. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so, uh, so, uh, I would advise any and all of you who want to, to actually check out the next roleplay review we're gonna do here on Twitch. I should actually make it, we haven't had any set times for that, but I should notify people when I do that. 
I tell you what, I will notify you when I do the next roleplay review. And I will be doing that on my Discord. And if you're new here, you can always join my Discord by going, uh, clicking on that link. Uh, that will lead you to my Discord. This is the Discord for this ch channel, like the official Discord uh, of this uh, Twitch channel. And I will always appreciate you joining. And that is where you'll always get the latest news and updates regarding this channel. <clears throat> now, please be advised that if you do join, it is highly recommended that you connect your Twitch account with your Discord account in order to get the proper roles. And you do that by managing integrations in Discord settings. So I will be notifying you guys uh, when the next uh, roleplay review takes place. I don't actually know when that's gonna happen because right now we're doing Super Nintendo Summer and uh, Archive 64 every Monday so maybe we'll do it on a weekend possibly I don't know it's midsummer this Friday so it's probably not gonna be this weekend we'll see excuse me at any rate uh, yeah so if you're a fan of this show and you want to see me comment do do can't talk tonight if you're a fan of the show and you want to see me do commentary for the Westbrook incident which I think most people want to see uh, who have seen these videos before um, then try not to miss that uh, just a fair warning as well that episode is long that is not like a measly 43 minutes that's a one minute one hour and 13 minutes I think so it is a fairly big episode <clears throat> uh, but a lot happens there and it's the most probably the most suspenseful episode that I've done so far I'm still very proud of it um, there are other episodes of course that are really good as well in my opinion but episode 12 is probably my favorite so far uh, and also, I am going to have a lot to talk about with that episode, because there was an uh, an off-scene or off-screen incident, which almost made me stop role-playing entirely, because I was so ashamed of what I'd done. But that is another thing that we'll talk about uh, when we when we do that. Actually, all right. Thank you uh, for watching uh, the roleplay review. We also, uh, earlier, a little bit earlier, we played the last episode of the Super Godzilla playthrough for Super Nintendo Summer. So, uh, tomorrow we are going to be uh, beginning, uh, we're going to start uh, the uh, uh, Adams Family Hugsley's Scavenger Hunt for Super Nintendo. So, feel free to join me tomorrow if you want to check that out. I've never played that game before. So we're gonna start start it out tomorrow and see what's what. Uh, other than that, I don't think I have anything else uh, of import to uh, impart to you. Aha. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, I wish you the very best. Uh, remember to mind social distance, and always remember to keep the retro legacy alive. Uh, this is Eagle Bite 3 wishing you the best. Take care. Good night and goodbye.